Yeah. Bitch, I'm a big gun toter. Been thugging in these streets, hoe. Put a hole in your melon, nigga. For fucking with my people. Got all this choppers. It might be another sequel. Just these are popping. Now, gang, bro, pin up. Bitch, we bracking. All stars, those zero. What's up, YouTube? Shout out to the Stoner family. Shout out to everybody out there. Hope y'all having a blessed day, a great day, whatever. So, we're back with another story time. So I told y'all, I'm gonna let y'all tell me what y'all want, what y'all want to see, or whatever. So y'all, y'all keep running the stories, or whatever y'all want me to talk about. So y'all told me y'all want me to tell y'all about the recovery part. So I tell y'all about the recovery. <clears throat> okay, um, starting up this video. When I got shot, okay, these shoes right here were the shoes that I had on my feet when I got shot. Y'all see? All right. So. They not the original ones that I got shot in. Cause those ones was uh cut up and they had blood on they had blood on them and shit. Cause you know, uh when the paramedics uh when the paramedics come get you off the ground and shit, they don't give a fuck about what you got on this shit. They not finna be careful with none of that shit. They gonna cut all that shit off so they can get to your body and see what's wrong with you. So they cut my damn Jordans. I don't know why they cut my Jordans. I'm like, I, it wasn't nothing wrong with my feet, but <laughs> cut them motherfuckers up. I guess because they had to do that because they couldn't put my Jordans on the fucking feet. But they cut that shit up. I still, I still, I still was able to wear them after that, even though they was kind of still fucked up. I wasn't able to lace them all the way because they cut all right, through the laces and <laughs> shit. And uh, I had my fucking Louis Vuitton belt on. They cut that motherfucker up too. I mean, they basically cut up everything I had on. <laughs> I couldn't wear none of that shit no more. My mom was like, why would you? You got shot at it. I was like, man, shit, man. So, them shoes, I got shot at. Not the exact shoes. <coughs> Not the same exact shoes, but the same replica. Them shoes just came out, so that's why I bought them. I think they was lucky to me. People would wonder why I would buy the same shoes that I got shot at. I, they, they, I consider them as lucky. If you don't, I don't know. I mean, if you don't think they lucky, then that's you with me. I feel like they, they might have been lucky. And they Jordan 7s. I got shot on July 7th, 2014. So it's all 7s if you really look at it. <laughs> all right, so recovery part. Hmm. So I was in the hospital. I'm gonna tell you how the whole shit. I was in the hospital. At first, I didn't really know nobody because, like I said, when I woke up, all I knew was my mama and my grandmama. If you wasn't them too, I didn't know you. Uh, but a couple of days later, maybe a week later, I started my memory started coming back more, and then uh, started knowing everybody else. <laughs> You know, like, it started coming back that, okay, this is my brother, and he's in, you know, everybody else. So, I was still in the hospital maybe almost uh, two, three weeks after I came out of my coma. So, uh, my brother used to come up there, or my mama, or uh, my granny used to come up there and uh, basically sit with me and shit. Because basically I was lonely and I was fucking, you know what I'm saying? I was like, shit, I always wanted to go home. Even though I was fucked up, I used to be like, man, I don't want to get the fuck up out of here. I used to be like, nah, you still got to stay and get better a little bit. Because nigga, you still fucked up. I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. I'm like, I knew I was still fucked up. But I was like, still, I'd rather be fucked up at home. You <laughs> feel me? Like, so, uh, I was good. Like, three weeks later, they got me up out of there and shit. So the first day I went home, um, and we got in the car, it just felt like, I ain't gonna lie, it really felt like, like, like I just came back to the world, like, not even came back, like, like I never, I don't know how to explain this shit, like, 
basically like a reborn type feeling. Like, like I just came into this world just now type shit. It ain't like I, I've been here already. But it's like when I got in the car and was driving back home, it was like, I really felt like I was starting all over from zero. Like from a baby. Because that's how my mind was. My mind was still like, even though I knew people, like who people was, now I still was basically slow. Like the doctor said, I was going to basically remain for the rest of the time of my life. Basically, the doctor was telling my mama before they let me out of the hospital, because I basically, I was fucking slow. So the doctor was like, well, so what happened to him was very traumatic and I don't see it, I don't see it getting no better than this, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you just he said be happy that he alive, like he should be basically dead, you know what I'm saying? So if this if this is how he gonna be, then y'all just gotta take him to that. So my mama like, alright, she took me, but she was like, fuck that, my son ain't gonna be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> she like, hell no, nigga, fuck what he talking about. He a doctor, but doctors don't do everything. She be like, uh-uh, nigga, my son gonna, gonna, he gonna come back, nigga. He ain't gonna remain like this and shit. So when I first got home and shit, got to the house, got out the car, my mama was trying to help me. She helped me to the car when I got out of the house, because they put me in a wheelchair, and then he let you walk, the, cause the car was right there in the front. So I still had to take a couple steps to the car. So my mom was helping me then. So I was I was telling her, th thinking then, like, why she helped me, I could walk. I was thinking I could walk, cause I was thinking nothing happened to my legs. You know what I'm saying? I remember getting hit in the throat and I still had shit on my throat. So I knew something was wrong with my throat. And I'm like, I could walk. <clears throat> so when we got home, and got out the car. She was trying to help me. I'm like, Mama, let me like lamb, let me walk. Like I could walk. She like, son, you can't walk. I'm like, Mama, yes I can. You <laughs> know, cause she know my dreams. I told her that I was doing a lot of walking and shit, walking places and doing walking over here and walking over there. So, nigga, like, I thought I could walk. So. She was talking about, son, you can't walk. I'm like, just let me walk. She said, all right. I took two steps. I was right by my doorstep. <laughs> I took two steps, nigga, and collapsed. <laughs> Wham, nigga. It's a motherfucking flow. <laughs> and she walked over and said, see, son, I told you, you can't walk. <laughs> I was like, Pick me up, man. <laughs> I didn't hit the ground and shit. She like, I done told you. I just told you you can't walk. I'm like, yeah, I, now I'm really sad. Cause like, nigga, I thought just my upper body was fucked up. I didn't know my whole body was fucked up. So now I know I need help doing everything. Like, nigga, I thought I could at least walk. I knew I couldn't use my arms and shit like that. Cause that already was like on some disabled shit at first. I already knew my arms was gone. But I'm like, at least I got my legs. <laughs> but I see my legs was gone. I said, oh. oh, shit, nigga. Oh, hell no. So, uh, yeah, uh, Went to my uh, room and shit. I had to, they had to buy, give me a hospital bed and shit so I could lay in and shit. My little hospital bed. I needed uh, 24 hour care all the time because I had a, uh, if you look right here and shit, I had a, a, a trach in my throat. Yeah, I had a trach right there in my throat so I could breathe and I wouldn't die because I had trouble breathing. Uh, Really, for like, for almost like two years, I had trouble breathing. Even when they took the trach out, I still had trouble breathing, like, months after that. Like, I'd be real short of breath real quick. <clears throat> Even now, if you hear me talking and shit, you know I'd be like, you know you'd be like, damn. Because like some people be saying that on here, and they'd be like, man, I think something wrong with his breathing. That's because I had the trach in my throat. and I Because I, I couldn't breathe, you know, after they shot me in the throat, I couldn't breathe. Lamb, but went back to the house, got the house and shit, got the hospital bed. Now my uh, brother is my caretaker and shit, so. 
he had to, uh, well, he didn't bathe me all the time, but he had to bathe me. He had to feed me. He had to wipe my ass when I took a shit. Cause if I took a shit, he had to come wipe my ass. And a lot of times I pissed on myself because my bladder was so weak, nigga, like I couldn't hold my piss for nothing. And my bladder is still kind of fucked up, still from that shit. Like, I got to, like, really, like, you know, be somewhere to piss because I don't know what that shit did to my bladder. But, yeah. So, back then, my bladder was real fucked up. I was really like a baby, like, nigga. I would pee on, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try to pee on myself. It's just, like, I couldn't control it so much. It was like, nigga, I was a kid, basically, and I would basically tell my mama, I gotta pee, and she know if I didn't make it there in the next two, three seconds, I'm pissy. You know what I mean? It was like, I'm pissed off, and I ain't even try to pee on my stuff. It was just like, it just came out. I can't control my own penis no more. Like, nigga, this shit just pissing, nigga. Like, damn, nigga. So I was really going through shit like that, and I had to, uh, you know, have my brother bag me. Then when I was like, they had to help me in the tub, out the tub. You feel me? Uh, I couldn't tie my shoes. I couldn't do nothing for myself. They had to dress me. They had to put my shirt on for me. Put my pants on for me. I was skin and bones. You think I'm skin and bones now, nigga? I really was like, that's why I want to tell this shit, cause nigga, I be like, oh, bro, this shit be like going back tears and shit, nigga. I was fucking bones, literally, nigga. Like literally a bag of fucking bones, like nigga. Take like a bag of bones, nigga, that was me, nigga. I was just like, nigga, like, nigga, just skin and bones, nigga. Just literally, nigga, like, nigga, when you say skin and bones, that's what I was. Just looking at myself made me cry because I remembered who I was before that. And seeing myself like this now as a fucking, like, I literally was bones. Like, you see my ribs, my, my L, you see my whole bone structure literally like nigga just looking at me made you like god damn nigga this nigga is bones <laughs> you feel me literally like nigga like if you ever see the skinniest nigga in the world just sucked up like everything sucked up just that's who i was just everything sucked up just skinny skinny so i'd be happy for what i look like now a lot of people like you skinny on that I know where the fuck I came from, nigga. This is a good to me. You <laughs> nigga, wow, bro. They ain't even check this out, bro. Wow, bro. I ain't even have a little. I ain't even had a six pack back then. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even had that, nigga. I was so skinny. They took that shit away, nigga. That was my joy right there, nigga. That was my joy. I was so skinny. I didn't see that. I said, damn, nigga. They took my six pack away. They took my good looks away. Cause nigga, this shit, oh, nigga, this shit really had me f looking at this every day, nigga. It look cool. It don't look cool, but it don't look as bad as it did then, you know what I'm saying? But looking at that every day, oh, man. Oh, man, from the fine ass nigga I thought I was to the ugly ass nigga who I seen myself as today. Not saying now, but I'm saying at that time. Oh, man, I couldn't do nothing but cry. Like, oh, shit, nigga. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I was just praying on vengeance on niggas. I was like, oh, nigga, I swear to God, I gotta make niggas look worse than me. I gotta make some niggas look way worse than me. <laughs> but, you know, over time, start talking to people and uh, start going through life and shit, man. Then being around the same niggas, you know, who are, who... I was around before I got shot and when I got shot and seeing that man that this gang shit was just like man it was just for no reason man and that shit was just like ah I didn't got all these fucking scars man fuck myself up you feel me for this gang shit nigga and you feel me it ain't really turned out to be nothing it's just like fuck nigga and sometimes I wish I could have, like, oh, I could have did something else. But then a lot of times I'd be like, well, shit, I don't know. Because I mean, I wouldn't have been a strong-ass nigga that I am today. So, shit, you got to choose, nigga. Because I, I probably could have been a bitch. If I, <laughs> if I didn't go through all this shit, I'd have been a sucker. You feel me? Hey, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, okay. But sometimes suckers is good. Because I had sucker friends. I stand they suckers. I'm going to stop calling that. You say I could have been a regular dude. 
because he's a regular dude, you know what I'm saying? I got I got regular dudes that's friends and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even really care about if you a gangster or none of that shit. If you a cool nigga, you a cool nigga to me. Jace don't fuck with everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm a motherfucking roller and a roaster, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, um, nigga, my brother had to help me, all that shit. Uh, he went and, um, uh, he went to hang out with his friends one day when I uh, was at home. He was at, he went to hang out with his friends. And uh, like I told y'all, well not y'all, but like I said in another video, uh, I was at home and I had to fend for myself basically because he was gone for many hours and I was hungry. So at this time, it was probably like uh. About two months in that I've been at home, so I was just a little bit better than I was. So I was able to like lift a bowl because they were doing my little in, uh, my little therapy before they left. Because <laughs> they was only giving me therapy at the house for probably like two months, three months and shit. And they just got the fuck on and never came back. So that's why my fucking fully full mobility didn't come back like that neither. So. And I don't think it never would have neither, because with the shit I was doing, I'm like, nigga, this shit not going to get my shit back, nigga. I'm like, nigga, this shit ain't working at all. So, I was going to make me a bowl of cereal, because I'm like, all right, we worked on the drills, you feel me? I done worked with this little, little, little help, I mean, not the help, you know, the, uh, the medical people that came to my house and showed me how to, you know, hold the bowl with my hand and stuff and take the spoon. Because I, I really was a baby. I didn't know how to use a spoon. None of that. Literally, nigga, I had to start from zero how to use a spoon, how to tie my shoes, how to everything. Literally, nigga, I had to start from zero all the way to now. So, nigga, fucking crazy, right? <clears throat> Going to make me a bowl of cereal. So, I get to the kitchen. And I, and I open the refrigerator, and then I'm just sitting there like, I was like, damn, like, do I get the milk first? Do I get the, the cereal first? Or the bowl? <laughs> but I ain't even, I couldn't even think of that. I was just literally like, fucking blank when I got to the fucking refrigerator. Like, nigga, and I opened it, it was like, and trying to think of how to make a bowl of cereal. I was like, okay, make a bowl of cereal. Make a bowl of cereal. <laughs> like, okay, instructions now. Like, okay, they ain't working instructions. Okay, goddamn. Oh my god, I don't know the instructions how to make fucking cereal. I gotta start crying again in the motherfucking kitchen. I was just like, God damn. I'm fucking, fucking, fucking retarded, retarded. <laughs> like, I ain't never been retarded in my life. I might just play retarded because a lot of niggas know I be doing that, nigga. I might play stupid for a minute and shit, nigga, but I'm far from fucking slow and stupid. <laughs> nigga, when I seen that, I was literally slow and stupid. I was just like, oh, God, oh. <laughs> I guess this is what you gonna uh, be feeling. This is my, uh, you know, karma for doing what the fuck I did. Like, ah. Ah, <laughs> uh, because you don't know, karma could be you going to prison and it hit you another time after that. Because I was like, damn, nigga. I ain't got shot, man. That nigga, that nigga, that made me stupid now. <laughs> you feel me? Damn, nigga, I'm fucking drooling and shit. I think I, I was a joke, nigga. I was a joke. <laughs> Fucking spit, <laughs> And I used to have a thing. I told you I had the trach in my neck, right? Had the motherfucking uh, shit in my neck. So it was like a little thing right there. Was like I was a retarded kid. It had like a little bandage around it. And I had like a little red thing. <laughs> Not to say nothing about mentally disabled people. I'm just saying, <clears throat> laughing at myself. Had that shit right around my neck, you know what I'm saying? Just looking at myself in any mirror just broke me down. <laughs> oh my god. Then my mama was trying to take me out in public all the time. I'm like, I don't want to go with your ass in public. You see what the fuck I look like? She like, son, come on, just ain't nobody gonna pay attention to you. Come on. 
Man, I went to the store. Man, the whole store was looking at me. Everybody in the store was like, man, what the hell happened to that nigga? Because I had the, had the zit on my neck. Then I had the, uh, <laughs> the neck break and shit like I got in a car crash or something. Had that around my neck, you know what I'm saying? Then I couldn't really walk like that because my spine was still messed up because from hitting shot in the neck. So people, you know, it's just, you know, be walking and the people just be like, and the people, some people used to stop and ask me. This one white lady stopped me and asked me. She said, wow, well, you're a basketball player or you're a football player? She said, well, are you a basketball player or a football player? I was like, Basketball. <laughs> she's like, oh yeah. And my mama came over. She was like, yeah, I see he got hurt in his basketball accident. My mama looked at me and looked at her. She was like, yeah, uh huh, basketball. <laughs> yep, basketball. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't tell that why they are not gang, gang member. <laughs> no, not sports man, gang member. You feel me? The gang member you're looking at is K March. You know what I'm saying? That was a target or something. That was it was crazy, right? Uh so couldn't think, couldn't do nothing. Uh I was really like that for about um uh, about a year and a half. Well, I basically was slow for a year. Then my mind started coming back. Slowly but surely, you feel me? And I don't think, even think my mind is fully all the way back. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't tripping, nigga. I'm still here. They go, wow, look at that shit. I chased the old blood for a lot. So, uh, yeah, uh, my mind finally, uh, started coming back. Uh, I think my baby mama came and stayed with me. Yeah, my baby mama moved in and shit. My baby mama moved in. It was crazy, right? After that, after I started getting, I guess, well. You feel me? Well, I was well enough to go outside, so. A lot of people, man. It was a lot of niggas trying to fight me, man. And this shit was crazy because I was never no type of nigga to even, like, try to fight nobody I felt was weaker than me. If I felt like... I could run through you with like two, three punches or <laughs> feel me, just a, uh, uh, I wouldn't even fight you. I'm like, nigga. I'm, and if I do do you like that, I didn't know you was going to get, I didn't know you was going to fall like that. <laughs> I thought you was going to, you know, give me a squabble up, but I hit you with the three piece and you hit the floor. And I was like, damn, uh, I thought he was better than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But any nigga who I knew was weak to me, weaker than me, or, or if I knew like, you was better than me, and now you got a shot, nigga. I'm, nigga, I was never gonna try to not like, get, yeah, nigga. I need that, especially if nigga wasn't trying to fight me. Like, yeah, nigga, I need to get down with you and all this shit. It's like, nigga, come on, bro. Like, it was not a gang of niggas, but it was several niggas that did fight me and tried to fight me after that. From my family, from my hood, from friends. Okay, and then I start thinking about myself. Thinking that shit like, damn, okay. Was I that much of a fucked up nigga that these niggas couldn't wait for me to be basically at my lowest to, to, to do their shit on me or try to do it or even ask to do their shit on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because then I started thinking I should have did more fucked up shit to them <laughs> so they could have really had a fucking reason. Because I'm like, nigga, I was a good ass nigga, but I'm like, for niggas to even do me, like, or even try to do me like that, like, J Stone, man, you gonna try to do Stone like that? But nigga, come on, blood. Not, not upright Stone, blood. Like, nigga, come on, they gonna give you a fair one, Stone, blood. Like, come on, blood. Come on, nigga. You <laughs> not 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 stone who's not gonna beat you up if he know you weak and shit, nigga. Hey, nigga, come on, blood. I don't do that. Blood of J Stone Group. Blood, I beat up the most active niggas. You feel me? That's my resume, nigga. I whoop on niggas that whoop on niggas. You feel me? That's a nigga I whoop on. Hey, you whoop on him. I'm about to whoop on blood. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Couple niggas did, but then it was crazy. The bitches, right? Let me tell you how it, I don't tell you how it happened, but tell you how I went with the females, right? Mm. 
They got they they basically treated me worse than the niggas. They basically was looking at me because first of all, before I started gaining my little way back, I was still skinny. You feel me? So I was way I was skinnier than this. You feel me? You think I'm skinny now? I'm skinnier then. So uh, nigga, I probably was like at one, probably one thirty bones. You know what I'm saying? Even females I was talking to before I got shot, you know what I'm saying? You would think, they'd be like, damn, bitch, don't you remember who the fuck I was before I got shot? That shit don't matter, nigga. Who you was before you got shot don't matter. Like, who the fuck you was before you went to prison don't matter, nigga. You feel me? You don't give a fuck, nigga. Oh, they don't give a fuck, nigga, who you was, nigga, before you went to prison. Before you got to prison, you had all the cars, all the holes, all the bitches. So what, nigga? You bitch ass in jail, nigga. They don't give a fuck what you had before you got shot. Like, nigga, I had I, way more weight than this. Nigga, nigga, so what? Nigga, you skin and bones now. Nigga, what the fuck you gonna do now, nigga? <laughs> like, damn, bitch. Yeah, you feel me? Bitches be hard on a the nigga. They talk about niggas be hard on bitches. Bitches gonna be rough on you, you feel me? Because they was niggas that didn't even really trip. Because they, they knew, like, damn, blood. I knew who the homie was before he got shot, blood. I knew my nigga, blood. You feel me? Like, they already knew, nigga. This is what game they didn't do, nigga. They like, nigga. We done seen several homies get done like that, nigga. Who was like, nigga. Ultra body niggas, blood. The nigga get hit up. Nighttime blood skinny now. It's like, nigga, blood. That's what's going to happen. You need to get the fuck out the field if you don't want to become skinny one day, nigga. So this is the real reason why I'm making this video. If you niggas don't want to become skinny, you want to keep your weight up, nigga, because you ain't going to be able to gain no weight with bullets through your ass. I'm telling you, I don't, it's going to be real hard. Either going to be extra fat or extra skinny. It's either or. You don't never be in between. Anybody I know that got shot, you either eating too much or you can't eat like that. <clears throat> or you, I mean, not that. You either gaining too much weight or you can't gain weight. Either or. You get shot, nigga, you're going to be one of them. A fat-ass nigga or a skinny-ass nigga. You're not finna be no nigga out here like you thought you was at first. Like, nigga, and it rarely do niggas do. I'm not saying it's impossible. There's some niggas out here that got hit up. But not, not, not that I got I'm going to say that. It's really impossible, nigga, who done got hit in a critical place, nigga, to where, nigga, you was damn near dead, nigga. For you to come back and still have your frame still, nigga. And your body still like that, nigga. Because you see cars getting an accident. You can't never put that fucking car back together, right? Nigga, that one forgot total, nigga. They wrecked the fuck out of that motherfucker. <laughs> they ain't no putting that back together. They ain't no putting it back together. So, uh, yeah, man. Now, uh, I still want the game banging after that and shit. When I did get better. You know, because I got into it with my mother and shit. And, uh, not to get into my mama. No, I did. Yeah, I did get into my mama. Got into a mama or whatever shit. And, uh, yeah, man, I was back in the hood with it. And I had to see what the hood had to offer after that. And, uh, just more problems in death, man. More problems in death. And then I was thinking, like, man, shit, man, like, nigga, do we, man, do we, do we ever want to do something around this motherfucker? Because niggas be talking about they want to do shit around motherfuckers places and shit. Like, yeah, bro, we should go do this, do it. But dog, when you see what niggas do at the end of the day, it's like, damn, blood, you ain't doing nothing you was talking about, blood. You, unless it was on some gangster shit, so <laughs> you feel me? If it was on some gangster power ruin shit, and they gonna follow through with that player, but any good player that's trying to do something successful, niggas like, niggas, you know, fuck that shit, blood. We gotta do this other player. So, man, I just, just had to make a decision, man. And then at that time, I'm like, blood, I got a son. So I started thinking of that too, like, nigga. If I go to jail, who gonna, who gonna fucking be able to, you feel me, be there for my son? Because, you know, you could say, oh, my uncle, my brothers and shit gonna do it. But no, nah, I'm his fucking daddy, nigga. He ain't, they ain't gonna, you feel me, ain't gonna really, that's not gonna do it. Ain't gonna, only person that's gonna, that's gonna be able to help him really is me. Nobody else, you know what I'm saying? So... I had to think of that too, because I'm like, blood, hey, boo, nigga, we're, we're doing this shit, blood. I'm going right back to prison, blood, power room. Most likely, nigga, nigga, you feel me? It might not get out next time. So it's like, nigga, I know this shit is some bullshit, nigga. Just, it's, it's, it's when you hang around gang shit, even though you ain't got to do no gang shit. You just being around gang shit, you can go to prison, nigga. Shit can happen. Police come take you to jail. I got homies in jail, nigga. 
right now doing doing basically life, nigga. But shit they didn't do, nigga. Cause the police came through the hood, took their ass to jail, nigga. It's really like that, nigga. So it's like, nigga, I'll start thinking of that, nigga. Do I wanna be one of the homies who went to jail and I didn't do nothing, blood? Like, you feel I literally was just over here, blood ain't doing shit, blood. Y'all got a sense that somebody did and y'all gonna blame it on me and you gonna go and they gonna find a way to wash your ass up. That's it, man. And a lot of people wanna say, what well, is the shit you chose, nigga? You know what you signed up for. When niggas say that, I say this. Did you know you was signing up for the niggas who basically signed you up to start telling? Did you know you was signing up for the niggas who basically signed you up or basically got you to sign up was going to try to fuck your bitch? Did you know you was signing up for the same motherfuckers to try to fucking... Manipulate and rob your ass some type of way for some type of money and shit. You know what I'm saying? Did you know that? Because I'm pretty sure niggas wouldn't sign up. Because if we're going to say that, we need to put that in the fucking contract. You know what I'm saying? Before we sign any nigga up for this gang shit, we need to let them niggas know up front this finna go down, nigga. You can't trust me. You can't trust him. And you can't. <laughs> well, look. <laughs> we got to tell them, look. <clears throat> if you got a gang of 400. <clears throat> You probably gonna even trust 20 of these niggas. Barely. If you got a gang of 400 gang members from your same hood, that y'all riding for the same neighborhood, you probably only trust 20. If even that. You gotta let them know that when they join this shit. Hey, niggas, you know your eyes of this shit, niggas? So you know you can't trust none of these niggas? You know what I'm saying? Really? You <laughs> sure? Because one of these niggas will knock your ass off or get you knocked off by the enemy over the shit or fuck your bitch or try to try to feel me. It's a whole lot of fucked up shit that go along with this game making shit, man. That nigga, if you ain't in this shit deep enough, nigga, you won't see it. If you just a party nigga, like a lot of niggas just bang for the party shit. Just they just there to shake their ass and shit. Just like a lot of females, they just there to shake their ass, nigga. A lot of niggas ain't going to put that fucking work in. A lot of niggas ain't on that block when niggas are sliding through that motherfucker. Or a lot of niggas ain't to me ready to risk their life and put their life on the line, nigga, and not tell. You feel me? For this fucking gang. You feel me? Because if it was like that, a lot of niggas would stay from that shit. Like, nigga, this basically like, nigga, ain't nobody gonna tell, nigga, but you gotta think. If the mafia told... <laughs> <laughs> nigga, shit, nigga. Nigga, shit, nigga. Nigga, shit, nigga. You can't even say you got a gang if them niggas told, nigga, because anybody gonna tell them, nigga. Them niggas on the street, on the street code, them niggas definitely get killed when they get got for telling. Gangs ain't even really got the same power as the mafia do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, nigga, you don't think these niggas gonna tell? You feel me? If these niggas tell it and they under strict guidelines and rules and shit, nigga. Man, so look, nigga, that's why we tell nigga, if you wanna join this shit, join in. If you smart enough, stay away from this shit, stay away, man. Cause, like I said, you either going to jail or prison or you can make it. <laughs> but I'm saying you gotta beat the lottery and make it, nigga. And what that means is, nigga, you gotta take a bullet through the throat. If it might not be through the throat, take one to the head. I got homies that got hit in the head. You can get shot in the back. You feel me? You can get hit in the body with a K. I got homies that got hit in the body with a K. Fuck your whole body up. Now you gotta walk. You feel me? All weird and shit. If you want that shit, if you're ready for it, Put on your motherfucking war boots, nigga. Strap them bitches up, nigga, and, and nigga go do your shit, nigga. But if you ain't, you better go sit your ass on the couch, nigga. <laughs> Play them video games, nigga. Shoot that shit up in them games, nigga. Don't bring that shit to the streets, because when you bring it to the streets, it will be a nigga shooting back at your ass. It might not be the time that you shooting at they ass, but guarantee. They coming the fuck back. If it ain't them, it's gonna be some cousins or some or somebody else. Or, like karma work, somebody else you get into it with. You think this nigga a punk nigga because you done smashed on these other niggas. They ain't do nothing. So, you, know, like you think you were some type of gangsta thug nigga like that. Like, yeah, I'm smashing on niggas. Mm hmm, nigga. They ain't do nothing. These niggas ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You smash on this nigga. 
And he lay your ass the fuck down. You know what I mean? He was like, God damn. Be like the nigga said, man, society. I didn't know he was going to come back like this. Last. <laughs> yeah, that's how it happens. <laughs> that's just how it happens. Nigga, you don't know when. You feel me? Nigga just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Now you did. Now you barely got to bury your ass. So, yeah. So, man, that is the, basically, the story time for today. They're 35 minutes long. I wasn't even supposed to make it that long, but hey, y'all my peoples. I love y'all just like y'all love me. <laughs> All right, till then. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. I need you to uh, hit that share button. If you ain't gonna share this video, go hit the share button on some of my other videos. You know what I'm saying? And hey, don't be talking about nothing on me, man. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm gonna get it together. <laughs> uh, okay, I need y'all to love God. Love yourself. Love your kids. And love your girlfriend. And your wife. Or whoever you dating.